The Chicago Bulls fall to the Toronto Raptors last night. But the biggest story coming out of that is, did Tory Craig take Patrick Williams' job and push him to the bench? And then the Bulls also waived two players. Y'all know we're going to talk about it. But you know you got to hit the music first. Come on, yeah. Gang. Shy Bulls podcast with the Cognac Boys. I'm Cognac Boy Bobby, and I'm holding it down. Today's episode of Shy Bulls podcast with me and my co-host, C-Dub. If you like what you're listening to today, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so every time we drop, you be one of the first ones to know. Now, look, the Chicago Bulls, they lost to the Toronto Raptors. It is what it is, 106-102. It is the preseason. I think it was a pretty entertaining game. But nonetheless, the biggest story coming out for me is I think Torrey Craig might have made a case to start for the Chicago Bulls. Um, Throughout the three games before last night's game against the Toronto Raptors, we've seen Billy Donovan kind of pull Patrick Williams early, at least in the first two games with the starters playing minutes. you seen him. Excuse me. You've seen Billy Donovan pull out Patrick Williams a little bit early out of the lineup and then insert him in, uh, with the second unit to see how he can thrive. You know what I'm saying? In the first two games, in, first, in game one, P. Will was pretty good. Second game, not so good. Still a bit shaky. And then in the third game, P. Will, with no DeMar DeRozan, no Zach Levine, no Nikola Vucevic, went out and did what he always does. And that's be aggressive from the start, put the ball in the basket, play great defense, be active just about everywhere on the floor, and put on a performance to where I believe it should have translated from that game three of the preseason. You drop them in back with the starters, hoping that, you seen something within Patrick Williams or suddenly click for Patrick Williams in that third game by himself. Well, out there with Kobe White and those young guys that he can go ahead and carry that confidence over until last night's game and see if he can go ahead and perform well with the starters. Well, P. Will. It didn't happen in the first quarter of yesterday's game. P. Will played a total of two minutes and 45 seconds before Billy Donovan yanked him out of the game. P. Will went 0 for 1. He only took one shot attempt, and he had two turnovers. Man, that is bad for Patrick Williams. Then it seemed like it took forever to get this guy back on the court. He came in towards the that second half of the second quarter, totaling out the minutes for that game. I mean, for that quarter, he played a total of seven minutes and 17 seconds, and the aggression kind of still wasn't there. You didn't see the activity that you wanted to see out of Patrick Williams, even though now his shot attempts went up to three. He only made one, and then he went and hit one three. You know what I'm saying? For a total of three points. Still nothing else but one rebound. In the entire time, Tory Craig, though it may not reflect so much within the box score for the final, you know, once the game concluded, you see Tory Craig, my guy came out there and he pretty much played 26 total minutes, had seven attempts, went two for seven and shot three threes, only ended the game with four points. But I don't I think it means much more than that from what we got out of him. He was aggressive. He attacked the basket. He got back in transition in that game and had a crazy block on the Toronto Raptors. And that's the type of stuff you want to see from Patrick Williams with all his athletic ability. You want to see Patrick Williams go out and do a little bit more. But he did not. He seemed like he got his stuff together that second half of the game to where he was a bit more aggressive, but it still wasn't all the way there for me. He had ample opportunities to attack the basket, put his shoulder into the defender, and try to get to the foul line. I don't care 
if you know what I'm saying, I believe Billy Donovan is looking at it like this. Look, P. Will, I don't care if you're trying to make the right basketball play all the time. I don't care. That's great. But when you have opportunities to go to the basket, use your strength, use your ability, you have to use it. You have to put pressure on the opposing team in transition you sh or in the half-court offense. When he had a drive to the lane on numerous occasions, you see my man's get into the painted area, and instead of putting his shoulder in there and try to play a little bit of bully ball, he passed out of the shot. You seen it sometime the way he had an open three. He didn't take the three. We seen plenty of times to where my man's, it, 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 the activity just could have been better from Patrick Williams. From Patrick Williams. The basketball is not just about putting the ball in the basket, at least if you're not one of the stars. You know what I'm saying? He's not one of the stars. He's going to be a contributor. So in his way that he can contribute, it's not going to always reflect in the points uh, box on the box score. He did end the game with 10 points, 4 for 13 for shooting, 2 for 4 from 3. But at that point, it was just like, man, Torrey Craig is out here playing his tail off. Torrey Craig was really out there playing his tail off. And you've seen that type of activity to where Torrey Craig is like, man, this guy, his energy, his grit, his uh hustle, his action activity, trying to get things flowing right and helping out and making up the uh and making the small plays that matter, getting down and dirty, and you know, doing the extra stuff that P. Will's supposed to be doing at the age of 22. You got a, a guy that's in his 30s out hustling the young guy. Out hustling the young guy. And I think it's I think it's really and I during the live call, if you don't watch the live calls, hit the notification bell. You can catch the live calls. We talk about it all the time. Look, Big Kev said, hey, that leash on Patrick Williams is short. I said he said that once Patrick Williams was pulled out after two minutes and 45 seconds in the first quarter, I said, no, nah, they've been doing this. But the amount of time that he sat on the bench, we like, damn, when is he coming back? Because you brought Ayo Dosumu in. You brought Javon Carter in. You brought Tory Craig in. You brought Zach Levine back in. And we was wondering, where the hell is Patrick Williams? So I got to give it up to Big Kev because, hey, that right there seems like Billy's seen enough. That right there kind of lets me know that Billy has seen enough because early on, you seen Billy Donovan pull him early out of the game, but... When the second when it was time for the second unit to come back in, Patrick Williams was falling back in line as well. It took them longer. Andre Drummond came back in the game. Uh, Javon Carter mentioned him. Ayo Dosumu came in the game. These guys saw like they were coming in the game, and P. Will was nowhere to be found. We was looking on the bench with binoculars to see where the hell he was. Hey, and that's just what it is. Me and my co-host C-Dub, we let y'all know early on in this offseason, there is no more baby in Patrick Williams. You had the time. You've had two consecutive offseasons to get things together. It is preseason, so I'm not going to overreact. But that right there is just a sign of that Tory Craig, in my opinion, is edging on up and P. Will is moving on down, period. That's how it is. That's how it's looking to me, at least for right now. I'm not going to sit here and say, hey, he won the job yet, but it's trending that way for Tory Craig. It's trending that way that Patrick Williams might be on the bench. It's trending that way. I want to wait and see how the Bulls go ahead and address this. You know what I'm saying? Because now they, 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 the starters play some extended minutes the last game against the Toronto Raptors, and then the game tomorrow, I'm expecting – against the Minnesota uh, Timberwolves, that the Bulls might come out with who their starters are. And if Patrick Williams is not in that starter lineup, I would not be surprised. That's just me. That's just me. Y'all got to let me know how y'all feeling about all that. Because that's just me. I'm looking at it like, hey, what are we doing here? Enough is enough, P. Will. 
I know it's still preseason, so I want to preference that. I want to put that at the forefront. It is preseason, so we don't want to overreact. Anything could still happen. But the fact of the matter is, this guy, the 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 passiveness wasn't on the 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 passiveness was on display while he was with the starters. In the second half, he had some run with the second unit. He was a bit more aggressive. Maybe that's the role for him. Y'all let me know how y'all feeling about all that in the comments below. And then just to end it off, the Chicago Bulls, after signing Derek Favors and Khalil Whitney to non-guaranteed contracts, waived them, and it all makes sense. You know what I'm saying? That I believe these guys are now going to recoup some money, and now they're going to go on to what the Bulls said initially what was going to happen anyway, that these guys are going to be in the G League and see what they have in Derek Favors. Maybe that's somebody you can pull up to see, hey, he's a guy that we have on the team. Maybe he can come fill the 15 spot on the team. Or hey, if it don't work out, he ain't going to be here. But, hey, it is what it is. That's the type of stuff that happens. At least they put some money in these guys' pocket by giving them, I believe it's 100 k So shout out to the Bulls for getting these guys some bread. Maybe they needed the bread. Take the bread. Go, we can go ahead and have the bread. It is what it is. But, hey, that's it for me today. Y'all let me know how y'all feeling about all topics discussed. And then we're going to kick it tomorrow on tomorrow's episode and then a live call following that evening. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. And if you want to call in and leave a take, call in 773-242-9219. It's another episode of Shy Bulls Podcast. I'm Bobby. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one for sure. Get your stuff together, P-Will. Get your stuff together. Come on, yeah. Come on, yeah. Gang, yeah.